Hi everyone. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration of VP Studio Release 8 and some of the new things and the bug fixes that I've done. Now, uh, first thing I'll show you is uh, a measuring system. Everybody was has been telling me they've occasionally had trouble measuring out their studio and where the green screen goes and things. So instead of using a tape measure, I've got it set up now so that you can use your controllers to do this. It's not a precision measurement system, but it's good enough to get you in the ballpark when you're trying to line up your screens. So for example, I can uh, measure my monitor in front of me here. On the controller, the zero point is right here, so that's what you want to touch to whatever you're measuring. So if I move this over here to the monitor and click it, you'll see some numbers appear. And you can see them floating there on the screen as well to the left and right of my head. They're partly obscured. When you stop, all the numbers are dumped out to your output log here. So you can use them in your setup. Right now this is set up to use the left hand controller and the left hand controller's trigger to take a measurement. Or you can just press zero. Uh, these can be changed if you go into the input section of Unreal. Uh, and you can also change what tracker or puck is taking a measurement from just by going over here into the world outliner. You can see the setup here is a there's a record measurements actor. You can attach this to any controller or any tracker that you like and then just hit zero to take a measurement. There have also been some bug fixes here and there. Uh, most notably, the people had reported the mats for the desks and the wall and some of the other things were not responding correctly to the mat size arguments and that's been fixed so now those should work well and the measuring grid has been fixed so you can turn it on and off while you're in editor mode and not just while you're playing i took a little survey of everyone and found out that very few of you were using the two camera setup so i've gone back to using the default of one camera which simplifies things quite a bit and uh, makes it easier if you're just trying to learn how to work things out the two camera setup is still included, but it's just not the default anymore. There's some new documentation that can show you how to change that. Documentation is another thing that's changed in this release. I've tried to add a bit more that you can find on the GitHub, as well as put some internal documentation inside of the Unreal itself. So there's uh, more tooltips when you hover over things to tell you what they are. And some of the variables have moved into categories so it's easier to tell what they go with. There's also been a change to my telemetry system. That's the system that lets you send the positions of your trackers out to a second program that graphs them so you can see if there's any glitches in your tracking or just how much noise there is. The change is down here. If you look on the screen where my mouse is, now the uh, actor for sending telemetry is called actor transform telemetry. And there's only one of them now where there used to be several different ones for different kinds of telemetry. Uh, now you can come down here and select what type of telemetry you want to send. And there's also a list of all the actors you want telemetry from. So you just need to add an actor here and find it in the uh, list of things to add and you're set. This system can handle any kind of actor. Doesn't matter whether it's a live link tracker, a motion controller, or just a character. It'll uh, report the position and rotation of that over to the uh, telemetry viewer application. The rest of the changes are pretty much internal or cosmetic. I've simplified a lot of the blueprints and added a lot of documentation here and there. One of the things that some people have had trouble with is my inspection mode that lets you see what the studio looks like from Unreal's point of view. I'll give you a quick demo of how you get into that just for those who still may have some confusion about it. You can see over here I've got VP Studio Comp selected and down here is its uh, details. And if you scroll down to the point where it says output and expand this, you'll see the first output goes to the player viewport. Uh, this, can, uh, uh, this is basically the viewport here that you're looking at. Uh, if you want to use the inspection mode, set this to none and then start up into play mode. Click in the window and press I. And now you're seeing a view of what the studio looks like as far as Unreal is concerned. You can see the camera and the tracker and the mats and everything, green screen locations and so on. And right here I'll show you one of the other minor cosmetic things. You may have remembered that the, uh, the auto rig here, which you can see 
as these uh, blue and green posts here that connect the camera to the tracker. Originally, those would stick out in various directions, and sometimes they could be annoying uh, or get in the way of another camera. So now they're set up to only draw to the exact length that they're supposed to. So if I come into the auto rig and I actually change it, you'll see that it rescales itself. So I'll adjust the horizontal a bit here. And you can see that the stick the camera is on just goes in and back out. And the same thing for vertical. Everything else basically works that way now. You can read about the rest of the small changes in the release notes. Hopefully these will make it easier for you to follow all the blueprints and how everything works here. Because a lot of people have asked for it, I'm working on a new video that shows the studio setup pretty much from beginning to end so that you can uh, get a better idea of how to put everything together once you download VP Studio. That'll be coming along fairly soon. Hope this was helpful to you.